Hello everybody, I am the Walrus, and this is episode 4 in our Dwarf Mage walkthrough, in which this guy, who's also called the Walrus, is going to run through uh, Coldridge Valley, up until uh, level 5, we'll even get to Karanos before we stop and start doing the gnome uh, walkthrough. But until then, let's uh, let's get on with this walkthrough here. Uh, we're going to pop up in uh, Whitebeard's Encampment. Uh, last episode, we we finished up our uh, patronage quests of, uh, of Anvilmar. And uh, and now now we're here to help Grelin Whitebeard and uh, his his buds. Um, we did upgrade a bunch of our armor. So um so that's that's gone up a bit and uh what else maybe our our stats went up a bit there yeah and intellect is now our primary stat which is good and uh, and yeah our health and mana have gone up so let's get on with this if the game freaking loaded we could do that what can we talk about until then hmm we did get arcane missiles last uh, episode which is a pretty cool spell and uh, by the end of this episode, I am hoping to ding level 5. And, uh, and then we'll have our next uh, ability available from Teagley, the Mage Trainer. So, let's get right on with this. Grelin Whitebeard here offers us a quest called the Troll Menace. How are you? And we're going to take that quest, and uh, he's asking us to kill 10 Frostmane Troll Whelps. So that'll be our first order of business, along with these two quests here. One from Felix Windlebolt, called the Refugee's Quandary, and uh, he's telling us that, uh, you know, he was hiking and then the big cataclysm happened and uh, and then he lost all his goods and he needs uh, our help to find it for him. Them for him. Uh, he's been asking that since uh, since Vanilla Warcraft, I'm pretty sure. I kind of recognize that quest. Uh, Apprentice Soren here no longer a bumbling apprentice is a um, is a quest giver and he gives us the quest called trolling for information um, he's saying that there's some uh, some soothsayers out in uh, in the troll camps that we're about to go to and uh, and they've been uh, talking some prophecies to their followers and he kind of wants us to go listen in on them um, and yeah the troll menace is just saying that these trolls are acting up when they shouldn't be and uh, and we gotta settle them down by killing them. So let's get right on with it. This is the Frost Main Troll Whelp. Um, these are very notable because they're the only quest in the game that drops the uh, the leather chest slot piece called uh, what is it called? The Frost Main Leather Vest. So we got pretty lucky in la in our last episode. Where we grabbed the uh, small blue pel pouch, and uh, and maybe that was because of the rabbit's feet. So we've got ten chances here to grab a uh, frost main leather vest. Let's see if uh, these rabbit's feet keep rolling. It is a very very small drop rate, so I I really don't think we'll see one, regardless of the rabbit's feet or not. Um, so yeah, we have to kill ten of these guys, these uh, frost main troll whelps. We also have to come over to this camp right here, and we can grab Felix's bucket of bolts. Uh, this lady talking over here is uh, is one of the soothsayers that we have to uh, listen to. So you guys can watch this, and uh, and yeah, she's talking about uh, you know Gricknir, who is apparently their leader. Is uh, he's he's going to uh, save them? So yeah, um, there's three camps that we have to go to. So we'll hit all three of them. Um, one of Felix's lost tools will be at each one. And uh, one of the soothsayers will be at, at each one too. So let's get right on with it. Kill these whelps. That's four. Six more chances to get that vest. Let's we'll see if we can do it. it would be pretty cool if we will. If we do do it, I'll. If we do get it uh, or any rare drops, I'll try to sell them on the auction house and see how uh, how much they go for on these servers. I suspect that 
if you're on a role-playing server that they'd probably go for a bit more than they would here, if they even sell on these servers. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll see that in a couple of our episodes. I think uh, the next round of guys that I'm going to do is going to be Horde, because I'm suffering a bit of withdrawal, getting all twitchy and shit. Um, so I think after the Gnome, I'm going to do the, the Orc and the Troll and Duratar. Only because I fucking hate Duratar and... I don't know how much the uh, the Cataclysm expansion will uh, will improve it. So there's Felix's chest right there, right beside the campfire. And uh, this is Soothsayer Rikari, who you've got to listen to. And apparently Gricknir has, uh, is talking to an elemental. And he's, he's asking him to fight on their side. That's pretty whack. Don't know what that'll mean. Oh, did I not listen to her? Yeah, I did. Okay. Next is uh, trolling for information. That camp's right up here. Where we have to meet Soothsayer Miramko what? And, uh, and get Felix's box. Not too tough at all. Again, these first quests in the level 1 to 5 areas are just jokes. I don't know. Uh, I don't know how tough the quests got after level five because I haven't really run anything after that. But uh, I assume that they're probably jokes too. Blizzard's really nerfed uh, nerfed the game. They really dumbed it down since uh, well compared to what it was before, anyway. And here's Susir Miram Koa. <laughs> Our land be a land of ice and snow. But beneath the earth, child, there always be fire. De spirit come from deep down to talk with Grignir. Okay. Uh, nothing new, it seems. I'll give you guys a nice close-up of the Frostmane troll whelp. Yeah, this is a new model. They used to be just uh, normal uh, dark spear looking trolls with like white skin. But they gave him the new model. Which is cool. I like it better. Oh, I missed. Hit him with the arcane missiles. Again, arcane missiles is an ability that only uh, you can only cast it if it's uh, if it's activated. And uh, and yeah, it's a forty percent chance on activating for every offensive spell you cast. Just a wrap up of what I said last episode.